everybody. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Louis Vuitton handbag collection. Let's get started. If this is your first time stopping on by the channel, I am Laura Tejana, Army Wife here in the great state of Texas. I hope y'all have been having a wonderful day today. It is Friday, so we are in the Lenten season. This is also a time for me when I try and focus on not shopping as much. Um, normally that's kind of like what I give up. For me, there's no such thing as a no by year or a low by year because I'm a shopaholic. So for 40 days and 40 nights during the Lenten season, I will cut back and I will reduce a lot of the shopping um, other than of course groceries. But this is when I kind of just refrain from that and shift my focus to something else. So because of that, I thought this would be a great time during this season for me to really share with you all of the handbags that I have in my collection from all of the luxury designers that I have since I never really was able to do these videos last year when I started my channel. And so today I want to share with you the Louis Vuitton handbags that I actually have remaining in my collection to give you some background as to when I started to purchase um, Louis Vuitton handbags. I actually started purchasing them around 2010, 2011. I've purchased quite a few and I've used them and some of them have worked out, some of them haven't, or of course, you know, they're always releasing some new ones and I would end up selling some of the ones that I had that I had my fun with it and it was just time for me to go ahead and sell it and apply those funds to another handbag. I'm not really one to hold on to a lot of these handbags if I've already determined that it doesn't work out for me or you know it's it's not going to serve me any purpose and it's just sitting on a shelf. So I will sell a handbag if it's one that I just you know have already you know had my fun with it and I'm ready to move on and add something else into my collection. And I keep all of my receipts for the handbag so this way when I do sell it because the majority of the people that purchase my handbags are family and friends because they know that I have taken extremely good care of the handbag and they are put up and they are protected and they know that when they purchase it they are going to get the box they're going to get the bag and they're going to get the receipt and they know that it's authentic so i always prefer selling my handbags to them because then i know it's going to a good home and i love seeing them use the handbags so the ones that i have kept in my collection are ones that i have really enjoyed um, and they're they're different for me they're the handbags that i don't see as often when you're out and about and that's what I enjoy about these handbags and why I have kept them in my collection. So I'm so excited to actually get to share these with you. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first one that I have in my collection. And I actually do have the receipts um, with me for the majority of them because I wanna be able to also share with you the style number and also the price of what I paid for it back when I did purchase it. Because just in case this is an item that you have been wanting to add into your collection and you've been shopping for it on the retail, you know, or on the pre-love market, I should say, this way, once you have the price that I purchased for it back, you know, a couple years ago, it'll help you then kind of gauge whether the current price that it is listed for on the resale market is fair, right, for you as to what you want to pay. So hopefully that information will help you um, for the ones that I do have. And I have all the receipts, but a couple of them I wasn't able to find. And one of them I purchased pre-love, and that's the very first one that I'm going to share with you. So the very first one that I have that I'm going to share with you is I'm going to start from the oldest one to the most recent that I have purchased. This handbag came out back, I think, in, oh gosh, 2005, I think, 2000 and, 2005, 2006 is when I remember seeing it. And at that time, you know, I was an admin and the only thing I could purchase back then was really basically coach with the salary that I was making. And then, um, and then Gucci. So that was very the first like luxury um, handbag that I started to add into my collection. But I always loved this style, and I would see people um, use this, and I just always loved it. I always kept this bag in mind. And one day, I just happened to be looking on the resale markets, um, price comparing it on the real real on Fashion File, and I happened to find this handbag on Trade Z. And the lady actually was listing it for a really, really good price for the condition that it was in 
com um, from what I was comparing it to the same condition to what the real real and the fashion file were listing this li this lady happened to be listing this bag I know for like less than six hundred dollars because I paid like five hundred something for it and the one that I am talking about is this handbag here. This lovely handbag is the Louis Vuitton Viva Cité GM and I actually have my um, tag here from with the little Beverly Hills stamp when we went to the um, exhibit and I always wanted this handbag and it, I saw it like in this particular style and then the one that was like the half size and I just love the fact that it had these pockets of course with your red microfiber lining and the inside of it also with the lining and what I loved is this little holder because I would clip my little keys on it and I thought that was fabulous like I mentioned before I love little things like this where you can actually hook your keys on purchased this bag back in like 2016 and this was actually a stress purchase it literally was honest to goodness it was a stress purchase because at that time I was a project manager focused on like customer remediations for mortgages and it was the most stressful job ever and I could not wait to get out of that um, position and I was just like just I would I just remember my days were so stressed. They were they were long days because the projects were just, you know, crazy. And that's when I knew that yeah, project management is not for me. And it's not something I chose actually. Like they would just change our positions um, in the in the group that I was in. They would just change our positions, change our role completely. And it was just a stressful job. I learned a hell of a lot though. I learned a hell of a lot, but it was just so stressful. And I would log off. And like my brain would be fried and so when this bag was um, popping up and I was price comparing it and when I saw that price and when she offered it to me at such a great bargain um, I said okay I'm taking it and it was very very gently like gently used it was in really 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 good condition there was very minimal um, you know like spotting or staining here on the vachetta or vaqueta as we say in Spanish because it's the same thing leather we say vaqueta um, but it was really really in great condition and it, it was absolutely fabulous it was very minimal it was like very minimal wear on the corners I mean I've used it so I've, it's gotten a little bit more wear but she took really good care of this handbag and I can't I think she said she purchased it like in Hawaii on vacation or something like that but it's just it's just been really really good and I've kept it this is not one that I've wanted to ever get rid of because one for the price that I purchased it at it was a stinking good deal and it was one that I always wanted to add into my collection and just I guess for the sentimental piece of it that now I was in a position where I could finally um, purchase it and um, because of because of the income that I was now making that I could now then add it into my collection and I just have enjoyed her and it's I'll put her away and then I finally will take her out and I'll be like oh and then I'll, I'll switch out into it and then when I do use it I'm like god why don't I grab her more often because I just love you know throwing stuff in here my readers my sunglasses or my phone like I just feel I love the pocket feature in the front to just throw stuff in there and then on the inside the only thing I will say when I do use her see how she kind of like comes in a little bit you can see so when I do use her like this kind of just like comes in a bit um like it molds to your it'll mold it'll mold to your frame see that so it just kind of like comes in a little bit but doesn't bother me at all she's very lightweight and I enjoy using her and when I do take her out a lot of people will always compliment on this one they're like oh I love your bag can I carry her can I see her and um, so yeah I'm just so happy that I actually was able to add this one into my collection and that I got her at a really really great price on the pre-love market back in 2016 so the next handbag I'm going to share with you was actually one that I was actually on a mission to um, find. So the handbag I'm talking about is this beautiful LV Retiro handbag in the color Poppy. 
and how perfect is that for someone like me as an army wife because puppies of course are always very significant especially for the military for like for remembrance and it's a beautiful like corally color and I just love the fact that it had the handles um, here it's just fresh very spring I love this color and um, you have of course here where you can attach the long strap and the feet at the bottom and you have the beautiful little clochette with the keys and you have the lock up here with the double zip and I actually have on this one my um, little giraffe you know little charm here so I always leave that one here because it kind of just blends in well with it but this one she stuffed so she has the beautiful like microfiber lining of the poppy color and I keep the strap in here I keep her stuff so she can maintain her shape but she's done really really well she's so roomy that I love it and I keep the strap in here and I just love the fact that it's all leather and this is a great nice size too because if I ever want to clip this on to like my little mini pochette um, I can always do that if I want to carry them when I'm you know running an errand so I love the fact that you have this very very long adjustable strap and it's absolutely absolutely fabulous and I always carry it in my bag just in case when I am using the handbag and then I get tired of maybe carrying it by hand I can always just clip on the strap and um, you know throw it over the shoulder and again this one has let me pull this out a little bit this one has a little clip so you can clip your um, your keys on here or you probably even if you wanted to maybe try and stick like the stem of your sunglasses in here if they're thin enough if you dare to do that but I just love the fact this side has the two um, pockets on one side and then you have the one large pocket on the other so funny story about this one I I once I saw this one at the store and I knew that this was one that I wanted to add into my collection because of the color of it I was going to be taking my husband on a vacation in 2016. I was going to take him on a cruise. He had never been on a, a cruise at all before. He was like, I joined the army. I'm a soldier. If I wanted to be on the water, I would have joined the Navy. And so he always had like this issue, you know, going on. He's like, I don't know about, I don't know about being on a boat out in the middle of the ocean. And so it took some convincing, but I said, you know what? We're going, I want you to experience that. So we were going to be going to St. Thomas. That was one of the stops. And St. Thomas at the time had a Louis Vuitton store. If you've ever gone to St. Thomas, then you know that there is no sales tax. So because I was on a mission to get this handbag, I called the Louis Vuitton customer service and I said, I am interested in purchasing this handbag and I'm going to be paying a visit to St. Thomas and I would like to know if this handbag is there so that way I can purchase it because I wanted to save some money and not pay tax. They were very wonderful because they connected me to a sales associate at the store in St. Thomas. And about a week before I was going to depart, they called me and they said, when are you going to be arriving on the island um, you know, by boat? And so I gave her the actual day and she said, okay, I'm going to have that handbag transferred over here to the store so this way you have it when you arrive once you um get off the ship she says go do all of your excursions go and have fun and make sure that we are your last stop before you get back onto the to the boat once we got to st thomas we went and we had our fun we did our sightseeing the cab driver took us to the beach and then he said i'll come back and i'll pick you up and then i'll take you to your next stop and i said okay so he dropped us off at the st thomas um, Louis Vuitton store and sure enough she was so lovely she actually had the bag she was like okay she had it already and I paid and I have my receipt and it's funny because as I was finding my receipts I actually have the allure of the seas little itinerary for when we were there so because of the age look how old it is it comes in the old brown little like um, receipt sleeves and so this one, of course, I purchased it back in May of 2016, and it is code M41723. And at the time in 2016, the price on this handbag was $2,110. So the Retiro in Poppy. But she's one of my favorites, and I've kept her because she's different. 
She's not one that you see around town a lot. I love the fact that you have this beautiful pop of the poppy color on the coated canvas. And she's just, a, she's kind of like a rare beauty because this is not one that you see at all. Every now and then I'll see maybe somebody with like the black colored um, leather one, but I do not see this one um, out and about at all. And I love the fact that that's what made her different and the color poppy just makes her very, very happy. And I'm very happy that I have kept her in my collection because she's just a wonderful souvenir from that trip, from our first uh, cruise together, my husband and I, after we had gotten married and I just absolutely love her and I get a lot of compliments on her when I do use her because she's just a very fun, fun color, especially for the spring and the summer. The very next one that I have is actually uh, one that I added into my collection because again, I had visited the same Louis Vuitton store and I love the style of this handbag. And I actually wanted this bag in a beautiful, um, I think it was like a taupey color. Was it glacé? Yeah, no me acuerdo. It was really, really beautiful. It was a beautiful taupe color. Um, I love watching Just Jennifer, and Just Jennifer actually did a video on it, on that color that I wanted. But she ended up um, like returning it, I believe. And this one, when I was going into the store looking for it, and they said they didn't have that um, taupey color that I wanted, my husband said, look at that color that they have there on display. And it was this beautiful khaki color. But look, see, <laughs> she was she's actually full because I took her out today since I was wearing this uh, camel um, LV sweatshirt. And I've, I know I've shared her with you guys before. I still have my little lottery charm that we picked up when we went to the Louis Vuitton exhibit. And I just love the fact that it is on prompt leather. The thing that I kind of tend to go for more on the LV handbags is because um, I will lean more towards getting leather handbags because you don't see them as often. You see a lot of canvas um, coated, you know, Louis Vuitton handbags, whether they're fake, whether there's real, whether, you know, it. there's just a ton, a ton, a ton of them out there. And that's what I liked about like this one with the poppy because it's unusual, it's different, it has that pop. You know, this style, they release it in the leather and you don't see a lot of people carrying on prompt leather handbags. And the fact that it was in this khaki color, but it's more of like, I, I looked at it as like an army green and my husband nicknamed this bag ODB, like ODB green. And it's just nice and light. I love the fact that it has the beautiful, um, you can see it here. So it does have a little bit of, like that maroon um, glazing and you have the maroon interior. Of course, she's packed with all of my stuff, but you have the very nice glazing here on the edges, if you can see that. And she's just held up wonderfully. And I love the fact that she was nicely stamped, like nicely embossed. The LV Emprunt was very, very embossed on this one. And you have the beautiful little clips here on the side. You have the wonderful strap here, and she's a very nice, comfy strap. You see the glazing there of the beautiful, like, maroon. And again, I keep the strap inside the bag for when I do want to um, use her on the shoulder or just throw her over, like, crossbody really quick. I can. But she has, um, you know, a nice, soft, you know, moldable shape when you're carrying her, like, over your shoulder she'll mold to your body. And that's what I love about this bag. So even though I have her, you know, with quite a few things in here, she's still, she's not heavy, which is what I enjoyed about this bag. And she's super, super roomy. Look at that. So you have two pockets over here and then the one pocket on this side. This is the only one that I could not find offhand um, for my receipts because she's buried somewhere. Louis Vuitton Emprunt Pontu PM in the color khaki. Um, she's just absolutely gorgeous. She's one of my favorites. You have the actual double zip here with these beautiful little um, leather pieces on the bag. And it just, it's just wonderful. It just is a nice, um, kind of like a, um, 
like an elegant very elegant not too structured she has some structure but then there's some still still like softness to it and it's just very classic it's just a nice um beautiful nice silhouette i think with this handbag and the color i just love it it's it's just perfect for me being an army wife that happens to love a lot of um, camo colors and it's just a nice little kind of like a chameleon bag because i think it does go with a lot you don't have to be wearing camo for it to coordinate with it but it's just it's very beautiful and it has the style of it has a sophistication to it which i enjoy so this is the handbag that I added into my collection in 2017. And we're moving on to the very next one and I'm gonna to stick to the theme of Empreinte Leather. This is the next one that I added into my collection. I would not see a lot of people carrying this handbag in the Empreinte Leather. And when they released it in this particular color, I thought it was actually really pretty and it would go with a lot because of course I'm very casual dresser, wear a lot of jeans. And it also had colors on it too that would represent someone who um, serves and defends our country. And I'm talking about this wonderful Malie handbag in the marine um, Empreinte leather with the wonderful red glazing on the handle. And you can see the glazing here at the top. And you have the peaks of the red um, within the pockets on both sides. And it's just an absolutely um, nice bag and just lightweight and I've enjoyed this one for when I go to market if I'm out shopping I will actually add on the long strap which I love about this one as well so it's got the nice red glazing on it and it's a nice adjustable strap and I will throw this one on and wear it as a crossbody and as I'm out and about um, looking around at different vendors and they give me little, little bags. I throw them as I'm making for my purchases. I just throw them here in the bag. I don't have to worry about, you know, unzipping or unsnapping a bag. It's just nice and open again, moldable to the body and very, very lightweight. And I can easily throw it on, um, carry it as like a hobo style, which is what I love because I do enjoy hobo handbags and I love the versatility of it and having this um, strap here and then the long strap to carry it cross body. And you have the beautiful um, red lining with the pinstriping in it and the beautiful just gold hardware. And then of course you have your little um, luggage tag. And so I actually had my initials embossed on here. So I absolutely love this handbag. I love the fact that it is different. Again, I do not see a lot of this style, especially in this color of the Empreinte leather. And this one I purchased back in June of 2018. She was actually a birthday, she was actually a birthday gift. And so again, this is the M44012, the Malie, and the Empreinte Marine Rouge color. And at the time in 2018, this bag retailed for $2,710. So just so that way, in case you are in the market for this particular handbag in the Empreinte leather, that'll give you an idea if it is a fair price for what they are currently selling it for if you're in the market for this particular style. And I haven't had any issues with glazing. I haven't had any issues at all with the leather. This Empreinte leather, it's stamped, but it's not as deeply stamped as my um, khaki one on the palm too. Can you see that? See how the embossing is not as um, deep. Just FYSA for your situational awareness, as my husband says, you know, that would be something to consider when you are wanting to add a, an empreinte leather handbag into your collection is to make sure that if you want the more deeper embossed stamping, that that would be something that you would um, consider when you're looking at the particular handbag that you are considering if you're um, in the market forum, whether it's um, through you know a consignment store local to you that you can actually go in and see, or whether it's one that you're looking at online, if that's something that you um, is important to you in having the embossing more prominent versus more of a very softer, subtle type of embossing like on this one. And she is known in this household as America because of the navy and the red. Now we're on to my very next one, which is a canvas piece. And it was actually the very first 
um, maybe I guess classic uh, handbag from Louis Vuitton that I added into my collection. All of the other handbags that I had added had never been like a staple, like a classic Louis Vuitton handbag. And again, we were on vacation in St. Thomas. We had actually flown there and stayed there for a week and the Louis Vuitton store was still open. When we went during that particular visit, we were informed that they were closing down that particular boutique and they had very limited selection in that particular boutique because of the fact that they were just selling what they had. They were not getting in any more stock because of the fact that they were going to be closing down. So we were, I went in a couple days trying to figure out, okay, well, what, what do I really want to add into my collection? And again, I wanted to get something because as a souvenir, but also because of the fact that of course there was no sales tax. The handbag that I ended up selecting as my souvenir and first classic handbag in of Louis Vuitton that I added into my collection was the Speedy 30 and the Damier Eben print. And I actually ended up getting this little, um, you know, back charm like about a few months later after I purchased it. But she is in excellent, still excellent condition. You can still see like, I think on this side, you can still see like the fold, of course, where they have it folded from um, when they have them there. And she's gotten very minimal use, actually. She's not one that I normally reach for a lot because she's just like she's like a dark color it's just it's just very very dark brown and but I didn't have at the time when I purchased it I didn't have anything Damier Ben in my collection anymore I had purchased a I think a crossbody but I had ended up selling her off to a friend of mine a friend of mine wanted her and I ended up selling it so when I saw this one I was like well you know what um they didn't have the regular LV so I said, well, you know what? I'll take this one because this way I can actually have a Speedy in my collection. And I have all of the, I have different kinds of bags in here just to keep her stuffed. I have Christian Louboutin and I have Louis Vuitton. Um, look, I have two Christian Louboutin um, bags in here for my totes. But she's got this beautiful red interior, of course. And then of course you have the back pocket. I have my little keys in here and she's in there and of course you have the little um, d-ring so that way you can clip on your keys or what have you but of course you know just classic dummy bin um speedy 30. and so this one of course was purchased in actually june june 30th of 2019 because we were there the very end of june into fourth of july so it's N41364, Speedy 30, and Damier Ben. And at the time in 2019 in June, the price on this handbag was 1020. And I actually purchased this one and I purchased a I purchased the key clay that matched it. And then I purchased a beautiful um, Rosalie Damier Ben a wallet that had the beautiful pink on the inside and so that's why that's why I ended up picking up this bag was because of the fact that they actually had some accessories to go with it and I didn't have um, any Damier Ben accessories I didn't have I only had the little um, key clay in the LV print and so when I was there I actually purchased the Damier Azure the white one and then the one to match this one so I was actually able to get quite a few accessories while I was there and of course no tax so the Speedy 30 Damier Bin um, purchased this back in 2019, my souvenir from St. Thomas. And I'm actually very happy that I do have a Speedy in my collection. And the very next one in my collection is one that a lot of people had added into their collection when it was very first released and people were having issues. And this bag actually happened to be one that was available and offered to me on one of my vacations to, I believe, Washington, D.C. And that was in 2016, um, I guess when they had first come out. And it was right before my husband had taken off to Iraq. We were there for a yellow ribbon event. And D.C. had a cheaper sales tax than here in San Antonio. And um, the lady brought out the handbag for me. And I was like, nah, I'm not really a fan of it. And I, I was like, no. And I ended up buying another handbag, which I used for a while and then ended up selling off to a friend of mine. And then they released this handbag in the reverse print. And I'm talking about the Pochette Matisse. 
and monogram in the reverse monogram and I love the fact that it just I don't have to worry about you know taking her out in the rain and she is the one that I will grab for when it is just bad weather because I'll be like Alexa what's the weather for the day and she will tell me and I'll that'll kind of judge which handbag I'm going to be taking out and normally I'm not a fan of one that has a handbag that has compartments but I've grown to, um, you know, appreciate and, and like her because of the fact that it's, it's not so stiff, right? The structure of this one. And, you know, you, of course, you have your three compartments and then your larger compartment in the center. So I can always fit my little mini pochette and just my other wallets. And so, of course, you have the back pocket. So I will always throw my phone in here in the back. And I think, I think I've already taken the sticker off of this one. She's got minimal, um, she's got minimal scratching here on the front, but that's the only one bad thing about this one is sometimes, you know, you're just trying to then close it. And so I know I've scratched up a little bit here on the front, but other than that, I love the fact that it's adjustable. I love the fact that it's different. It's, um, not one that I don't see. I don't see a lot of like of the reverse monogram print here. You see the regular pochette Matisse. Um, but I really have enjoyed this one because of the fact that she's very carefree. Like I said, she's very carefree and she is the one that I will grab for the most pretty much when we are going out and about on the weekends running errands and especially when the weather is bad. She's the one that I will reach for. And I actually did not have any issues in um, locating this handbag. I happened to reach out to a sales associate that... Um, I don't think I had, I had never purchased anything with this sales associate before, but I had, I had their information. I was following them on Instagram and I reached out to the SA and I said, I'm in the market and purchasing a, um, Pochette Matisse and the reverse monogram. Can you please put me, you know, on a list when, and when you have one available and he said, okay. And within uh, literally within like another day or two, he happened to get one in and this one, happens to be made in Texas and I don't have a problem with that I'm not picky as to where they are made at all I think for me being a Tejana this is perfect that this Pochette Matisse was actually made in Texas and I'm proud of that that we actually have um, a factory here a plant where they are actually making them so I'm just glad that I have this one in my collection and that I had no issues at all in um, acquiring this um, from a sales associate that is at the Saks Fifth Avenue, actually in Vegas is where um, is where he and is. This at. handbag for the Pochette Matisse at the time when I purchased her in January of 2020 was one thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars. So that way it'll give you an idea if you are in the market and purchasing her on the pre loved market. That is the price um, of what it was back then but i truly enjoyed using her very versatile and she actually does quite fit a lot and it just keeps the organization because of the three compartments on the inside handbag is one that was actually one that everybody was saying was extremely difficult to obtain and this was one that i had never really seen um i guess i never paid attention to this handbag but a lot of people will talk about it in youtube and i thought you know what that's actually a nice little just fun quick grab and go bag. And once I um, saw it and wanted to add it into my collection, I reached out to another essay that I had in Ohio. God, she was wonderful at Saks and she no longer, she left the company, but she would hunt anything down for me. And so she um, put my name down. And when I said, hey, I'm interested in getting this handbag. And she said, okay. And literally within like a couple of weeks, she says, I got it. I just need your payment information. And then she um, overnighted it to me. And I'm talking about the pochette accessoire. And this is in the LV um, print. And of course, I actually have a longer strap on this that I purchased, I think through, um, donde lo compré? I think I got this one on probably Etsy. I think I got this one on Etsy, not on Amazon. I think it was an Etsy. Um, strap and it's just perfect. It looks just like a regular LV one and I know I paid less than like 50 bucks for it. I'm not about to pay, you know, the crazy Louis Vuitton price for it because I know it's going to get um, stained and water spots and sure as hell, 
I already got this one. Um, I've got a little spot on this one because I went for a pedicure and I had it and I didn't realize that this had dipped into the water. And um, so it's got a little bit of a watermark. So I could care less. Me vale. You know, it's extremely, extremely useful. I love her. She's actually a little bit dirty because she's actually one that I take with me a lot to work because when I um, go into the office, I will throw this in like my tote bag or another, you know, whether it's another bag that I have. And this is one that I'll just throw my, um, you know, my wallet or whatever, if I'm going to run over to another building for lunch or what have you and or just a quick errand and I will just take this one. And so she usually comes with me quite um, often during the week and I just love the fact that it's it's a nice size. This one I purchased back in September of 2019 before the crazy, crazy, crazy price increases. So I know I bought this one for like five something, 575. It was less than $600. And I'm so, so fortunate that I happened to ask her for it and she got she literally got one available within that week was because people were saying oh you know these are so hard to get and you know you're on a waiting list forever blah 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 and she got it for me right away they happened to have one that came in even this little piece of the vachetta she's still in great condition no water spots there um I have not even put any of the um what is it the apple guard spray I guess I should but she's been wonderful and great great value for the money. I was even considering in getting the Dummy uh, Azure one um, a couple months ago. And I thought, you know what? I think she's, she sounds like I'm fine with her for right now, but I've enjoyed, enjoyed this bag. And I think depending on, you know, I know there's a lot of them on the pre-love market I, uh, and they're just, they're double the price. So I guess it just depends on how much you really, really want it. But just know that back in 2019, this handbag was like, you know, was under $600 in case that's one that you are considering adding into your collection. Um, but I could not find the receipt for this one. I know it's, I've got it in some other drawer, but I remember that this was very, very, very inexpensive. And it's, I think, what the price of a little mini pochette now um, for, you know, for what I pay for this it's what you know those little ones are running if not more but I actually love this one she's a great little piece to have into my collection and I do not um regret buying this one I mean, what I, I could say is I probably regret not buying the trifecta of these back when I did purchase this one but I know that those were even harder I don't even know if they were making them at that time because you know you were very fortunate to even get this one but I actually but I absolutely love this um Push it, All right, we've got three more. This next one, I was watching so many YouTube videos and I was considering adding it into my collection. So when I finally decided to purchase this handbag, I went ahead and chose a color that was not going to be very common. Um, as I was considering purchasing this bag, I would pay attention to a lot of the other handbags that I would see out and about. And a lot of people always had um, a particular print and a particular color. And I always go for the road less traveled, the one that is very um, uncommon, commonly seen. And so the one that I ended up adding into my collection was the Neo Noe um, handbag in the Damier Bin in the cherry berry color. And I love the fact that this was just a very nice, you know, like a wine, um, like a wine color but of course you have the adjustable strap to then make it into a crossbody so you had that you know you just have that option and i love the strap here and the interior the beautiful beautiful lining i actually have my um organizers in here so that keeps it um organized when i do put all of my stuff inside and i think these are have the beautiful um split center so it can divide your items and i think i still have the booklet that came in here so that's in here but it's a nice bag i don't reach for it that often again because it's just a darker color it's brown so this one i this is one that i go back and forth on and whether i should keep it in my collection um or you know or go ahead and sell it um but of course this is the beautiful um, handbag style that is also of course known to be carrying the champagne and it's a very nice color I do get a lot of um, compliments from my friends that see this one they're like oh I love the color combination on it it's a very very pretty handbag 
um, and you have the versatility of the strap, whether it's short or long. And of course you can always, um, you know, find like on Etsy or those other sites that always are coming out on Instagram where you can add the other little straps in case you wanted to have like a, a shorter one to just easily grab it, right? Pick up and go. This one real quick on the Neo Noe and the Cherry Berry. This one, I purchased it back in September of 2020. And the price on this one at the time was $1,780. In case you are looking for this one on the pre-love market, that'll give you an idea of what the um, price was for it and whether it's fair for what they are cur currently selling it for. Yeah, so the Neon Away and Cherry Berry, Damier Aben, I really wish I would have seen it when it came out in the Damier Zor with the really pretty pink strap. And it, I had seen that color combination, but in like other styles of LV handbags and I never just, I guess, paid attention to it when it came out in, in this particular um, style that I totally missed the ball on it and I wish I would have um, gotten it. And with the resale prices, I just, I'm like, eh, it's not one that I need to really add into my collection right now. But one day in the future, I might consider um, adding it if I do find it at a great price. But I do have this one in my collection and she is nice and light. She doesn't ever get too heavy, but it's a nice, it's still a nice style. I love the history about this bag being that um, it was one that of course they carry the champagne in it and it is a nice um, size and it can fit quite a bit and it is not too heavy and the versatility of whether you want to carry it over the shoulder or if you need to quickly, you know, extend the strap and carry it as a crossbody if you wish. I'm a sucker for anything personalized. I like to have things that are personalized, just make it special, um, you know, that it's, that it's unique and that it's unique to me. So the next handbag that I added into my collection is a classic and I'm very, very pleased that I waited, that I waited to add this bag into my collection because I could really personalize it. Not so much for me, but just also for my husband and this one is just a really special one. And we had a garage sale I remember a couple of years ago and I made so much money off of that garage sale that um, after my friend and I had gone and had a nice little ladies lunch, she said, hey, let me pop into Louis Vuitton so I can drop off my wallet to get a monogram. And I placed an order for this bag because I wanted it to come in for my anniversary. The bag that I am referring to is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the LV canvas print with the black leather straps and I personalized it with the Gemini twins because my husband and I are both Geminis. And of course the um, Louis Vuitton lock representing, um, you know, like the lock for our love for one another. And then my initials and our wedding date of 5-5-15. And I have nothing on the back I wanted it to just have these symbols here on the front, nothing on the back in case one, in case I wanted to just, you know, wear it on one side where it didn't show anything. And I'm glad that I waited for it to have these straps because part of the reason why I had never um, purchased like the regular and never full with the regular vaqueta um, was because of the fact that I didn't like it when it would get, um, you know, all of the patina, when it would start to get really, really, really dark. It se veía sucia. It just looked, you know, it would look like dirtier to me, in my opinion. And I just, I didn't like that look. You would see handbags out there that people, you knew people had them for years. And just over time, that color would just get darker and darker and darker. And sometimes some of them patina very nicely, but a lot of the ones, you know, as you wear them, you know, all the oils in your hands, it would just patina really, really dark. And that's what would always turn me off about any type of a Neverfull handbag. So when they had this option to actually get the black leather, that's when I was like, okay, game on, it's time to get it. And of course they kept raising the prices and so I wanted to go ahead and get it then before it got any more expensive. I ordered her back in March of 2021 and I got it delivered um, in May and it was a total of 2165, it was $2,000. So I guess 2165 with tax but that's what the price was on the World Tour Never Full back in um, March of 2021 was that. And I actually ordered these, I believe off of Etsy to kind of just keep the bag 
um, kind of cinched in because this of course will always fall. And that's what I loved about this bag is it just kind of keeps it, it kind of helps at least maintain its shape, but it's really, really cute because you have those actual little, um, little dangly charms that are very mm -hmm. LV print. But I just love those little clips. I thought they were super, super cute. And you have the nice um, clasp with the red, red opening. And I actually have a Zumoni organizer on the inside. And my, let me put this here. And of course you have the little um, pouch that has the lock and it has the Gemini twins. And I just love it. I actually have, I mean, I have my receipts from my wholesale vendor. Look at that, I've been looking for these. Okay, I need to put these away <laughs> for my insurance purposes. I've been looking for these and I couldn't remember what bag I used when we went to um, the show, little pouches. I so, love being able to throw things in here. I don't normally carry this one like on my own. Like if I'm out and about, I'm just going to use this one. I always just keep this inside the tote to just put whatever I need in here. And I love the fact that um, I have the um, particular organizer. So that always helps. What do I have in here? I actually have, oh, Mina, I have an Ulta gift card. And then, oh, Mina, Selena's. Anything for Selena's. I have, this was actually a really, really good lip color that this was the very first release that they did with MAC that Suzette did when she um, did that first release. This is actually a really, really good color. Um, I love it. I like all the shimmer to it. Oh, que mas? Ah, mira, I have my La Mer. I've been looking for this La Mer lip balm. Um, that one was like a limited edition celestial cover, but that's it. So I love the fact that my little Zimoni organizer fits in there very well with all these pockets. And of course you have the wonderful red lining on the inside. And of course the very nice, beautiful D ring, of course, on the never, never full and the red interior with the uh, pinstripes. And inside you have, I mean, I still have, of course, this um, that they put in here when you personalize. Uh, I use this one a lot, a lot, a lot when I first got her because of course she would kind of like get lightweight and I just love the fact that it was just nice and personalized. And of course, just depending on what we were doing as we were out and about, of course, if it would rain, then I would end up using this one um, the most. I would grab I would grab for this one or I would grab for that Pochette Matisse and the reverse monogram. I'm actually very, very happy that I waited for them to release this Neverfull where you have the option to either do the baqueta print or whether you want the darker um, leather. And I find it very soft and comfortable when I am carrying it. It doesn't rub. Um, like some of the other like leathers in the past. So I think this one is wonderful and I'm just so happy that I actually added this one into my collection. And my very final Louis Vuitton handbag that is in my collection is one that I added that is another classic because again, the price increases were coming up and I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and just, you know, make the plunge and add this one into my collection so that way I can have one. And since I had purchased the Damier Urbain Speedy 30, of course that one was the regular with no um, strap to it at all. So when they had this particular option in the world tour, I went ahead and ordered one as well. Talking about the regular LV canvas monogram print Speedy 30 um, with the bandolier option in the black leather. So this way it has the strap. And the only thing I actually have added to this particular handbag is just the Gemini's here on the side. So it is a nice classic on the front side and then on the back side and then nothing over here on the side. Thought, should I get my initials on it or whatever? But I said, well, I've already personalized this with my initials and the date. And I said, that's enough for that one with the little Gemini twins. And my husband said, get this one only with just the little Gemini twins for us. He goes, because just in case you ever, ever, ever decide to sell it, he goes, chances are there's going to be a ton of other people that are Gemini's versus you actually personalizing it with your initials. And for this one, I did actually order, I have a, a um, organizer for this one as well that and that I like that fits between the Demi Rubin and this one. And I actually have the extra piece of the strap because I normally, when I wear it, I normally keep it on the shorter side. So I don't have it as long. And I like that it sits up higher. And I actually have the um, Twilly with the Gemini Twins. If you can see that, I have the little Gemini Twins there. 
my little bow is kind of coming undone there but that's okay but i love the fact that it's got the black leather strap and i don't have any problems with this one um you know shaping or rubbing it's a very nice nice soft leather i actually enjoy um, the comfort of this particular um, leather strap so of course you have your lock you have of course your red interior you have the little d-ring on the inside and of course this one comes with the little keys for the lock and i actually have my little all the little cards are falling everywhere but i have all my little cards so this one of course is the beautiful classic speedy 30. particular speedy when i purchased it back in september of 2021 it was two thousand one hundred and ten dollars at the time before all of these other price increases that have occurred since then but i've actually enjoyed um, using this one i love the fact that it has the strap on it of course it is a lot easier to wear and if i ever wanted to i could always unclip these and then add them on to the damier bin um speedy and then just clip them on here on the sides if i wanted to since it's a dark color, I can always, it'll still kind of coordinate with that um, as well. But I love the fact that I have my world tour with the black handles. I don't have to worry about any of the dark patina or any of the water spots, anything like that. I just love that it's a carefree bag and I have it in now in the Speedy with the LV print and of course my um, never full. So these are not going anywhere. They are staying in my collection, but I absolutely love the fact that those are personalized and that they mean something to me because of the fact that it has a cute little Gemini um, twin on here. We actually are a Gemini household because even her dog was born the day after my husband. And so all three of us uh, have our birthdays in the month of June. So we're all Gemini twins. And my husband and I, he always says, you know, wonder twin powers activate. And I just love that. So that's why I could not resist getting the little twilly to coordinate with it that I can put on the never full if I wanted, but I normally just kind of keep her here on my Speedy 30. This is my entire collection of all the Louis Vuitton handbags that I have remaining. I still have a ton of Louis Vuitton accessories that I can do a video on that as well. But all of these handbags I've enjoyed. A lot of them have sentimental meaning. They've been, of course, my souvenirs for some of my travels. And these are the ones that I have enjoyed using because they are different and they are special and sentimental to me. If this is your first time stopping on by the channel, bienvenido, muchas gracias. It's a pleasure having you here. Es un placer. I've enjoyed spending this time with you and sharing these wonderful handbags that I have in my collection. If you have any questions about them, please drop me a comment below and I'd be happy to answer them for you in case there's other information you need or pricing on some of the ones that I didn't have that I couldn't find the receipt on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If this is the type of content that you like, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell notification so it'll alert you when I do upload my latest video because I do have a Chanel um, unboxing as well. And then also I will be doing more videos on sharing the other handbags that I have in my collection from a lot of other luxury designers. So I hope to see you back here soon for that. To all our veterans and all our military men and women serving and defending our country around the world, I thank you for your service and thank you for my freedom. Hasta la próxima, amigos. Bye-bye.